here. Look what we got. This came in yesterday, and I I want to unbox it so bad, but I want you guys along for the ride, and I want to get it plugged up and let it run maybe overnight, and make sure it's going to do what it claims to do. But this is kind of hard to deal with right now. This is the bodega fridge that I ordered. 12 volt dual zone. Yes. And I did not forget scissors today. In fact, <laughs> I ended up with two pair. So, without further ado, as they say, let us get right into it. D ring back here that is hindering my process. I'm excited. Okay. Well, I'm kind of take it out and stack things in that order. They're packed in. I'm gonna stack it on top of the Oh, it's so pretty. It's so heavy. Maybe I need to set it on the ground and lift it up. try that. And here it is. Getting it out of that box was not very fun. Please press and hold. I can't read that. Plus it's upside down for me. Please press and hold the key for three seconds to turn on off the appliance. Press and hold the key. Isn't it great? It feels really rugged. You know how you buy some coolers and the, they just feel cheap? This guy feels really nice and solid. I love this double handle thing it's got going on. I don't know if you guys can see it. But you're over there and I'm over here. <laughs> DC 12 volt plug right there. Controls are right here. Well, I'm gonna have to turn it around. Open the actual. It's so heavy. I'll be glad to get it in here. Maybe on a slide, a slide drawer. I mean, it has wheels. And I'll show you. It has wheels on one side so you can pull it like you've seen coolers that you just pull the handle and they follow you down the road. Okay, I'm excited. Here we go. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Okay, I'm going to come get you guys. Check this out. Isn't this great? Look how much space is in there. I was really worried. Like, I need a lot of freezer room. That's quite a bit. For my big jugs of ice cream to make my coffee shakes. And, and then this is great. You got your condiments and stuff and a bottle of wine or whatever. And then you got your veggies. and Oh, it looks so nice. I believe this comes out if you want to make it all like one temperature. But yeah, there's the two wheels that were on the one side. I don't know how much you guys are seeing because I'm behind the camera, but it's got an exhaust fan. I also heard it's good to like put a cover over them or something. I've seen people build makeshift covers out of Reflectix. I may do that. Oh, this thing looks really cool. 
Really, really cool. Everything's intact. It's not beat up. There's no dents in it. The box was in good condition. Oh, speaking of, let's put this in here. And uh, what I'm going to do now is take it and um, <laughs> my issues with camera things today. I'm just not on the ball, I guess. But I'm going to play it up and let it run for a good hot minute and see what happens. I don't really know what the freezer size should actually be set to for it to freeze. I bought this one specifically because the duals on and also because it was a lot cheaper than the winter. <laughs> Those winter ones are like a thousand bucks. And this one was three fifty and it had a twenty dollar mark off. I said thirty or in an earlier video that it was a twenty dollar like instant off at Amazon. So of course I took that and uh then with the tax and whatever it was still about three fifty. But uh You hear that click now this is plastic and it's got these little clips and I worry that at some point in my haste or I drop the lid or something that it breaks it's got a spring that's fairly tight like it feels good construction I know it's from overseas but you know Countries overseas make fantastic products. Like, not all of them, of course, but they do have some fantastic stuff that comes from over there. In China or Japan or Italy or whoever. You know, like a lot of our, I believe the Fiat engine out of this van come from overseas. So, they have a lot of good products that head our way, and I appreciate them for that. So, let's plug this up. See how well it does? I'm very excited. Let's do a thing. It's got a whirring sound and like a water going through it. And then that little clinking noise. I'm assuming it's making these noises because this is the first time it's actually been like plugged up and active and working. And that it'll straighten out once all the little coils get full of water and get cold or whatever they gotta do in there. And if it keeps it up after say this first day of initial plug up, I'm gonna send it back. Damn, I hate it too. And I'm also having trouble setting different temperatures for each zone. Like when I change the setting here, it does them both. Like I don't know how to hold it. Like there's no... I'm not sure what to do. I'm kind of reading about it or trying to. A quick update on the Bodega uh, Dual Zone Fridge Freezer Combo thingy. I had a lot of trouble with it. Um, it had this kind of weird noise I was concerned about, but after I shifted it, I kind of moved it, and it stopped. So apparently level is a thing. <laughs> and then it had issues with cooling i couldn't get it to mind like i would come out and it, the numbers would just be off uh, i did read that that it did show the degrees were off like eight to nine degrees or whatnot but these were big numbers and i couldn't figure out like what was going on with it i had the app i was using that i was coming out here and using these controls Finally, after about a day, because this has been two or three days now that I've been dealing with this, trying to decide should I send it back or not. 
and what happened is finally I read somewhere and I want to say it was in the comments at Amazon uh, somebody said the left chamber has to have a higher temperature than the right chamber like you can't set the left side to be lower than the right side and that's exactly what I was trying to do. I wanted the left side to be my freezer because it's a bigger capacity. And it just wasn't, it, it didn't know what to do. It's like, girlfriend, you screwing us up here. <laughs> we don't work this way, right? So once I read that, I'm like, well, let's give it a shot. Sure enough, I came out here and I unplugged it. And I let it sit for, I don't know, half an hour or so, because a lot of times electronics, these brains, like you just kind of have to give them a minute to reset. And then I plugged it back in. I used my app on the phone to set the new temperatures for the left and the right side. I didn't walk away, but for maybe five minutes. Uh, in fact, I just went in the house to get something and come right back out. Uh, and the temperatures were already like zooming to the desired degrees like it was almost instant uh the freezer side did take maybe 10 15 minutes longer to get to the temperature i set but it worked and that is what i was trying to do for two or three days was to make sure it was going to do what it needed to before i tried to haul it back to amazon because it's heavy i did not want to have to take it down um, to the post office or to the, one of the little post net areas or anywhere to try to ship it. And I was just worried to death that it was going to be a dud and I was going to have to fart around with a return. But no, <laughs> when all else fails, read the instructions. So after I reset it and turned it back on and set the temperatures to what they should be and made sure that the uh, right side was lower than the left side, it just worked. It, it, it worked really well. Um, I have frozen ice in it already. I didn't tape it because I, I work way late in the night and it's just dark out here and it's hard for me to bring the cameras along. So I just, I just tested it. It's like I need to know if it's going to work or not. I, I want to have plenty of time to try to send it back if it doesn't. So I just kind of did my thing. But this is the update. This little freezer, fridge, dual compartment combo thingy works fantastic. It's I haven't heard that little crackly noise in it since I moved it around. Um, apparently it was just off level and uh, I haven't heard it again. It does have a little fan whir, just a, I don't know how to describe it when it first switches on, but that's with any, you know, compressor type thing. I mean, there's going to be a little noise to it. So. I'm very happy with it. I don't plan to send this one back now that I've actually went and read about it and learned about it and then turned it on and tested it. It's <laughs> it's fantastic. So I'm very happy with this bodega. I don't know if it's an off brand of Alpicool or not. They use the same app. They get kind of the same design. So, But um, for the money, I'm okay with it. If it lasts me five years, I'm good with that. So uh, we'll see. So it's kind of slow go right now, but it is happening. Hang in there with me. Uh, things are gonna look up. We're gonna get out of here. <laughs> we're leaving these woods and we're leaving them soon. Very soon. I can't hardly stand it anymore.